This is more of an evolution for me. I've evolved into this person that I am at MegaFest. It's been a long journey. Professionally for me, it's been over 20 years to get to this night, man. I've been standing on that stage flat-footed with a mic, and I've been cussing, man. And you know, you get concerned when you get around church people, are, are they gonna be judgmental? Cause that's what kind of hurts you a lot of times. So many people in the church, they judge you, man. Right. Based on something they hear you say and then they act like they ain't never said nothing out of line or they don't do nothing crazy when they at home or they sin free. And that bugs you, man. I've been singing in choirs all my life going to church, man. So, you know, it, it's nothing that, that I don't know about. You know, I know about church, that's why when I write jokes about the church, I know what I'm talking about, it's coming from a place in me. I'm cool, I know how to write the jokes, what to say about them. I know the out of bounds. Oh man, I said that a whole lot of times, you know. And you close the advice when you close your show. And you would say what? <laughs> if you ain't got God, you ain't got nothing. You can believe that and take that to the bank, man. Cause without God, boy, you in a straight struggle. I'm just glad I know him. I'm glad he got me to this point where I can even face a crowd like at MegaFest. And really, if you judge me, then go ahead. But my mama said something that I oftentimes remember when I'm in spots like this too. They hung Jesus on the cross and he ain't do nothing to nobody. So how you figure you gonna get through this thing scot-free? And you, you been cussing, talking about people, cracking on people's hair, shoes, talking about their clothes, and you think you gonna walk through this land and ain't nobody gonna try to do you? I don't think so. No. <laughs> That's real, man. That's real. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Mr. Steve Before I get started, I always start by saying God is everything. That if it hadn't have been for God, I never ever would have been nothing. Well, I'm back. Let's just get this out the way right now. Bow your heads. Gracious God, our Father, please don't let Steve cuss while he up in here this evening. In Jesus' name, amen. Lord, have mercy. I want to thank y'all. <laughs> I want to thank y'all for having me back. I appreciate it for y'all letting me come here to do my thing in front of y'all again. I love Bishop Jakes for giving me this chance. A year ago, I came out and I did 20 minutes and I called him up. I said, I loved it so much. I said, I think I want to change, man. He said, why don't you come back and do the whole show? I don't know how. I've been standing on stage, I've been standing on stage for 20 years cussing. I ain't never came on stage in 20 years and ain't cussed. I'm going to do over an hour tonight. Y'all needs to pray for me. I ain't lying to you. 
Now, just in case I make a mistake, I have already given this DVD a title. That covers me as kind of like a loophole or something. The name of this DVD when it hit the stores is Don't Trip, He Ain't Through With Me Yet. That might apply to more than just me. <laughs> Hello. See, I've been coming around y'all long enough to figure it out. I ain't the only one that's borderline in here. <laughs> Everybody in here, like me, ain't a guaranteed shoe-in trip to heaven. <laughs> Some of us show sure can't have him show up this evening. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I done tried to think of what I was going to say for a year now, and I'm just going to have to be myself. I'm going to say some things that y'all might not think is all that cool, but you bought the ticket. You really kind of hoping I say something that ain't kind of cool, but I'm going to try to make it, though. 